I've just finished my final coat of my white pure acrylic. This technique can also be done on a PVA base, but I want a slightly softer effect. That's why I've gone for the pure acrylic. OK, now we're going to actually apply our paint technique. The first thing we need is our color wash glaze. Very, very simple. We shake it, and we pour into our bucket, like so. There's lots of different ways of applying color wash. I'm just going to show you one. I'm going to use a brush and a softening brush and a piece of harlequin mutton cloth. A very simple way of applying your glaze. For alternative ways, you can also refer to our information sheet where it does give you options, different options. Now we're actually going to apply the glaze to the wall. I'm just using a brush, but as I said, you can use a sponge or a mutton cloth. And we liberally apply the glaze. And one litre of the Harlequin color wash glaze will do about 40 square meters. And the reason being is we need such a little. Right, so we still work in areas which we can manage, about a meter square. Like so. Then we take our Harlequin mutton cloth and then just very gently just remove some of the excess glaze from the surface. Start to soften out those hard marks and lines we put in using our application brush. The next stage we use a softening brush. Now the softening brush we only use the tips of the brush and it's a very gentle crisscross motion to start to soften the technique. And the more we soften, the less movement and texture we see. And it doesn't matter that we see the odd brush marks. That's all a part of the technique. OK, and that's color washing. But of course, the most important thing with any technique, if you make a mistake, you can take a piece of damp mutton cloth, and you can just wipe it off and start again. That's Harlequin paints. As pretty much as we did in the, the ragging technique, we've left ourselves a nice wet edge of glaze. Now, that's going to help us when we come to um, applying our second section, we know that that glaze is going to remain wet for much longer than the, the glaze that we've already techniqued. Okay, once again, I apply my glaze, lots of bold circular movements, like so. And again, it's very important when we leave our next section that we've left a nice, thick, wet edge. There it is. Harlequin mutton cloth and our softening brush again. And once again, going over slightly what we've done already, just to blend the two sections together. And using our softening brush, we start to soften, blending in all the hard marks, making sure that we get right down to all the corners. Like so. 
Okay, we'll finish off our final section. Again, nice bold strokes and movement. And again, I use my piece of mutton cloth just to soften out some of the hard lines. Again, a softening brush. We start to soften and blend in all the different movement that we've put in. And of course, the more you soften, the less movement you see. And that's colour washing, Harlequin style. I'm just finishing softening the colour wash technique on this wall. And as you can see by the fireplace, I've incorporated exactly the same paint finish, but this time I've applied masking tape in the shape of stone blocks. But we'll cover this technique in our next video. Color wash. Firstly, prepare the surface to be treated. Allow to dry. Apply Harlequin color wash glaze. Using your softening brush, lightly stroke the surface in a random crisscross pattern. Allow to dry. For extra durability, apply one coat of Harlequin's Decorator's Varnish. <laughs>